I'm Dr. Karen Hacker, and I'm the director of the Allegheny County Health Department. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about lead exposure. Lead is a heavy metal. It's an element naturally occurring, and lead was used in a lot of products in this country. Uh, it was considered to be a very strong metal, and I think before people understood that it could cause harm, it was used in paint, it was used in solder, and it was used in gasoline. The concerns we have about lead is that it can affect children's neurological development. That's why it's called a neurotoxin. And that means it can actually have an impact on how the brain develops and lead to concerns, particularly at high levels, of that child's development. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm a housing inspector with the Allegheny County Health Department. Today we're in a home looking at the most common lead hazards found in a typical house. We found some of the greatest areas of concern to be impact and friction surfaces. Impact surfaces can include baseboards and doors. Friction surfaces can include floors and windows. These areas can release lead dust by repeated contact and impact. So what can you do to get ahead of lead in your home? Here are a few tips. Cleaning with a wet mop and wet rag are important ways to limit lead dust in your home. The wet part here is key because that prevents the lead dust from getting into the air. Start high. Start with window sills and doors and then end with the floor. And remember, the water that you clean with should be disposed of down the toilet and not the sink or outside as this furthers contamination. Buy a HEPA filter vacuum. You may be able to get one of these free through the Health Department's Safe and Healthy Homes program. What about our kids and pets? Whether it be from old paint, building materials, industrial emissions, or leaded gasoline, there may be lead in your soil. Kids and pets love to play in the dirt, like this. So it's important to remember to wash your hands, as this is a common source of lead exposure. So how can you get ahead? Wash your hands when you enter your home. Wash your children's hands if they've been playing in the soil. Brush your pets when they enter the home. Remove your shoes once entering the home. Lead dust is a common source of exposure in children, and a child's natural behavior, such as playing on the floor, crawling, and putting their hands and toys in their mouths, is a way for lead to be introduced. What about eating and lead? A well-balanced diet is important to help keep your family ahead of lead. Foods that are high in calcium, vitamin C, and iron can help to prevent the absorption of lead within the body. Some examples of these food include milk, oranges, peppers, and iron-fortified cereals. And remember, it's always important to wash your hands and countertops before preparing meals, as well as washing yours and your children's hands prior to eating. Some homes may contain lead in their water. The only way to know for sure is to have it tested. Contact your local water provider to see if they can test it for you. Some precautions you can take are to run the water for one to two minutes prior to drinking or using it for cooking. Another option is to purchase an NSF approved water filter. So as we've seen, lead can be dangerous. However, by following these simple steps, we can get ahead and stay ahead of lead.